It's day three of the Beijing Winter Olympics and the U.S. had a rough day on the snow. I'm Christine Brennan. Here's what you missed today in Beijing and I'll fill you in on everything that's going on tomorrow. The mountain was unkind to the United States. Michaela Schifrin lost an edge on the fifth gate of the first run of the Women's Giant Slalom and skied out. It's the first time she's failed to finish a Giant Slalom race since January of 2018. And Nina O'Brien, the top U.S. woman in the Giant Slalom after Schifrin went out, crashed ahead of the finish line and was taken off the course on a stretcher. The Olympic downhill skiing drought continues for the U.S. men. It's the second consecutive Olympics that they have failed to have anyone finish in the top 10. The American men failed to medal in snowboard slope style. Red Girard, the 2018 gold medalist, finished fourth just off the podium. In the bright spot of the day, the U.S. figure skating team won its first silver medal in the team event after winning bronze in both 2014 and 2018. The Russian Olympic Committee won gold when Kamila Valeva became the first woman to land a quadruple jump in the Olympics. Let's move on from Monday and take a look at what's going to be happening Tuesday in Beijing. U.S. against Canada in women's hockey, need we say more? One of the great rivalries in sports. Canada just played a game against Russia while wearing KN95 masks. We have the women's free ski big air final where Darian Stevens is the only American. Men's figure skating, the short program, Nathan Chen goes for the gold while Vincent Joe is dealing with a positive COVID test. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.